Alyssa, thank you so much. We're joined now by Gambit columnist and political analyst Clancy Dubos. Clancy, the former president, left New York on back to his Mar-a-Lago estate. We heard about uh, the rallies hosting there tonight. We learned the next hearing date is set for December 4th, but you have a lot of conversations in between time, uh, mostly coming from his base. They are saying that they believe that this will potentially help him get back into the White House. Your thoughts on that? I don't know about back into the White House, but I think it is helping him solidify his base among Republicans. Uh, the the one person who's really not happy today among Republicans is Ron DeSantis. His numbers are going down and his voters are not deserting him in droves, but many of them are and they're rallying back around Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a reason for this. There's a reason why Steve Scalise, who was a very loyal person, he will always defend Donald Trump. Uh, I'm not saying he would go over a cliff for Donald Trump, but a lot of MAGA voters would, Make America Great Again voters, they would absolutely follow him to hell and back. And it's what he wants. You know, when you think about the politics around this thing, not the legalities, but the politics, and it's on both sides, and I hate to play the both sides game, but it, it applies in this case. But the Republicans, even the ones who have sort of estranged themselves from Donald Trump, are rallying back around him, like Mitt Romney. Uh, and that's because Donald Trump, his popularity went up among Republican voters. Mm -hmm. If he were polling at 12 or 14 percent among Republican voters, most of them would be saying, oh, yeah, I knew that guy was a bad actor. But mm -hmm. because he commands such solid support among the Republican base, they have to respect that. In fact, they have to fear that. Right. So, and the other thing about Donald Trump, he is the consummate political showman, probably the best political showman in American history. And I'm not saying that as a fan or as a critic. It just is what it is. He can turn anything to his advantage. When he said he was expected to be... Uh, indicted within 72 hours he raised somewhere between four and six million dollars he turns every adversity into a fundraising opportunity because he's a businessman like they say everything's about this and he turns it all into fundraising right. mm -hmm. so we'll see what happens once the trial starts but the fact that the next court date isn't until December that's going to push the trial into the primary season and that's going to be a it's going to be another circus. But again, right. that plays into his hands. Huh. He loves the circus. All right. He's well, always saying, bring it on. We'll have to see what happens. Thanks, Clancy, okay. as always, for being with us. And we're going to continue to cover this historic legal battle right here on air and, of course, on our website, our app, and our social media pages. All right.